I really like having a humanity, humanities-based course because I can really relate it to all of my subjects and as well as things outside of school such as what's in the news, what's happening in, the, in society and in the politics. I also am very active in co-curricular activities such as debating and public speaking and I'm allowed to draw the, the concepts within my subjects and within the news into activities like that. There really is no set formula on how to go about the activities in humanities and you really work on skills such analysis. If you don't really know whether to do humanities or not, I believe just at least give it a go in year 10. If you're currently going into year 11, again, just give it a go because you really get a lot out of the humanities subjects. You get in touch with things that are happening in the outside world as well and you're not always focused on your school life because you're able to apply these concepts outside of school as well. I'm doing economics because um, I actually like the subject. It's something that sticks to me and I can really apply the knowledge I know I learned from the subject into the, into the real world. So in economics we learn a lot about the interest rates, a lot about exchange rate, all about um, aggregate demand, supply, and um, we can apply that into a real world uh, as we buy things. Taking on a humanities subject will further build on your knowledge and give you a better understanding of how the world economy works and how it'll affect our everyday lives. Global politics is my favourite subject and I would recommend it to anyone who could be able to pick it. We study things ranging from human rights, state sovereignty, we engage in debates and discussions while also reflecting back on our own rights and who we are as global citizens as well. It opens you up to the world and it makes you realise how global politics really does affect our lives. I have been able to gather my own thoughts and pick my own views on what will be beneficial for me um, in the years to come when I am able to vote. I chose to study geography because it gives you a greater knowledge on the world and the work uh, differs a lot so you're able to maintain your interest in it. We do a lot of analysis and we break it down further to practice for the end of year exams. We also usually have the, a talk at the beginning of the class on a new topic in order to allow ourselves to be familiar with what we're going to learn. I'd really strongly recommend students, particularly those who are currently studying it, to take it on board for the following year because I do think having that broad knowledge of the world indeed does help. History provides a great opportunity to learn really essential skills for your everyday life. It has equipped me with not only evaluation, reasoning and all those necessary skills, but also communication skills, confidence. It really helps you with other subjects as well, like English. Many people would think that, you know, it's in the past, it doesn't apply to us anymore, but really it does actually apply to us right now. It really shows where we came from and our identity. Sociology incorporates a lot of the humanities subjects, so it incorporates a little bit of legal studies, a little bit of history, even a little bit of geography and politics, as well as psychology. The most interesting thing I've learned in sociology is so far just why people do the things that they do. It provides um, a good gateway into be able to understand the real world that we live in. I would definitely recommend people to study sociology, especially if they don't know what sort of pathways they want to get into. It really provides you with that breadth within the humanities range and I think that's just really helpful. I chose business management because I felt like it's a common sense subject. I think it's a very interesting subject in terms of learning how a business would run and operate. It also involves the strategies behind some of the most successful businesses in the world and it's just handy to know when you end up going into the workforce. I recommend the subject to other students, especially those who are looking to run a business of their own one day. It just lays the foundation of what you need to know and what it takes to make a successful business. I chose accounting because I was the typical math student and also I like theory base as well. You do a lot of real life scenarios, so it's really improved my communication skills and allowed me to think outside the box and encouraged me to be a lot more open to discussion. It trains me, it helps me develop business awareness and it might help me in a business career in the future. 
The one thing I've learnt is the wide variety of businesses in Australia and how important accounting is. How money is falling in, money is falling out, how that can play a major part in determining how much profit the business earns. Accounting is a yeah, straightforward subject. Once you get the basic ideas and concepts, it's easy to understand it clearly. You, you should do well. If you enjoy math and are a very driven student, then I would definitely recommend it. So I chose to study legal studies because law has always been one of the um, learning pathways that I've been interested in. So we learn real world applications and what we call landmark cases but also contemporary examples where we can apply that concept to. We engage in a lot of discussions about those and try to build up our knowledge through that. So currently in legal studies, we are learning about the constitution and the ways that this protects our human rights. We've studied criminal law as well as civil law. If you want to go into a legal pathway, then you should be exposing yourself to the legal concepts. I would recommend legal studies for basically anyone who's willing to explore the humanities.